Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Orbit Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're having a little look at Old Sparks and Automation Adventure. This is the early access version that very soon indeed you're going to be able to get your hands on. Uh, this is an automation game uh, that is sort of entirely anchored around these little guys that you can sort of see crawling around. It's quite unique. It's quite cool. Let's jump into things and see what we have got going on. Uh, so yeah, it's very quirky. It's very unique. It's very interesting. So uh, we start in this sort of village. I don't really want to spend too much time here because this is not where uh, where the fun, the fun sort of happens. Uh, but what I will point out before we move on is that uh, there's basically a whole bunch of quests. And these quests can be picked up from sort of these people. Uh, we're not going to spend too much time here, but there's a couple of quests. Uh, there's quests to deliver certain resources, and we're going to sort of be progressing that way. That's not really where the automation happens, though. There's also a couple of different sort of upgrades as well. We can we can chat a little bit about that uh, later on. Uh, there isn't a sort of set tutorial um, as such, although I will say it would be really, really nice if there was an ability to entirely just sort of skip the tutorial and immediately jump right on into the automation. Uh, but you know, that is what it is. Uh, there's also multiplayer as well. Multiplayer is pretty cool. Now, we're jumping into the, I guess, the, the, the automation area, and this is sort of outside the town boundaries, and there's a couple of different things that we can do here. Now, uh, we basically emerge straight from this cave, and there's a couple of interesting things around here. The most useful I guess, component that we will find in the wild uh, is the Stumpy Spark Shrine. You'll notice, by the way, that I've collected a couple of different resources. This is just to allow me to, 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 get, to, to get going early on and hopefully make a little bit of progress a little bit more quickly. Anyway, this Stumpy Spark Shrine is where we are going to be able to craft some goods. Now, usually... There we go. Uh, usually what we would do is we would manually craft. Uh, we would manually craft here and we will craft a stumpy spark. Now a stumpy spark is that little log thing that you saw running around in the uh, in the intro screen there. And we can do a whole bunch of stuff with this. Uh, I've already made... What is it? I've got 13 on my person at the moment. Now, the very cool thing uh, about these little guys is that if you put them into the active sparks slot, uh, you get them and you can do all sorts of things with them. Uh, mostly like throw them around and when you throw them uh, specifically at resources, so uh, th this big tree is a little bit too big for them to take down, uh, but you throw them at sort of smaller resources and they will literally just go to town and they will get whatever resource lies inside inside of the inside of the goods so that is pretty darn cool and then they'll pick it up boom or they'll pick up one of the resources and bring it back to me and throw it into my inventory how cool is that anyway uh these guys are the the best they really are very very cool we can also equip them in the slots over here uh so that we can automate the process of getting these uh getting these uh, stumpy sparks up and running as quickly as possible. Uh, we've got some aether shards and some wooden logs. That's what it costs to make them. Uh, very simply, we get logs from smashing down trees. The aether shards, uh, well, we can talk about that in uh, in a little bit. Anyway, uh, looking at my quests here, we've got a couple of different quests. I think probably worth us pinning this quest, at least in the short term, because this is going to take us through, I guess, the, the primary uh, the primary phase of the automation. So we need to build ourselves a logger. We need to connect the logger to the Stumpy Spark Shrine here. We need to throw sparks onto the path and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, uh, let's go into the build menu and have a little look. We don't actually have that much stuff to start with here. And again, I've sort of completed a few uh, tutorial quests in order to get up to speed. It would be really, really nice if uh, I didn't have to go through the tutorial. Uh, but unfortunately, I do. I am going to put this over here. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to, oops, uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to rotate this, uh, this thing, but that is, that is fine. Anyway, the logger has been built. The logger we can only build on, uh, I believe they are called giant trees. So there are a couple on the map. If we were to explore a little bit more, um, we would be able to find them. Uh, but these guys, these guys have got infinite resources, which is really, really nice. And all we need to do is throw a few stumpy sparks into it, uh, in order to start producing a functionally unlimited amount amount of logs. So that is excellent. The next thing that we can do is uh, connect up the logs as part of this process. So if I click the G button, then we will go into the path building mode and we can build a path that literally uh, that literally goes sort of start to finish 
from the output of the logger to the input of the Stumpy Spark Shrine. And then we'll throw, we'll throw you on, throw you onto the course right over there. You're going to go and pick up a log, hopefully. There we go. You're going to go and pick up a log. You're going to march that down into the Stumpy Spark Shrine. And that is going to be, that is going to be that. Let's get, uh, let's get two more of these chumps, eh? There we go. And maybe one more for good measure, because we do need, f we need five logs. We need five logs in order to make, in order to make a single one. But I think four, I think four of these guys is probably going to be enough. We can always adjust as, uh, as we go. Either way, this is quite nice. We need to craft 10 stumpy sparks in order to complete, in order to complete this objective. So that's kind of nice. Anyway, uh, yeah, I did a few objectives just so that we could get to this point in the game because this is where things start to get really, really good. Uh, we've also got another, uh, objective to deliver a hundred, uh, a hundred wooden logs. I actually might be, I was gonna say, I'm not far off that, especially if I just start yoinking all of these resources out of here willy nilly, which I am very, very happy to do. And in fact, we should be able to get that done pretty quickly indeed. And maybe if I take my little, my little band of warriors. And they are warriors because I can get them to attack uh, these flying things. There we go. And look at that. That's where the aether shards come from. Uh, either they poop them out or we destroy those, uh, we destroy those puffly puffed things. And them, um, and we get the, the spoils, the spoils of destroying them, which is quite nice. Either way, I will take all of these extra resources, please. Look at this. I've, I've got like a plague of locusts that just follows me around. It's actually very, very satisfying. It's it's really rather cool. Get absolutely dunked on. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it's kind of crazy the amount of, you know, destructive capability that I have. Is very good. Is very, very good. Okay, and go uh, go take that one out. Ooh, nice. Okay, that's a long range, a long range hurl all the way, all the way downtown. Oh, did you get? I don't know why you didn't uh, you didn't take him. There we go. Take him out. Fantastic. Okay, give me all the resources. Head back over here. Beautiful. That should be enough wood. And we can now complete the quest in town, which is pretty darn great. I'm going to throw in a few more Aether Shards that I just picked up. And we'll probably head back into town with... Is that enough wood? I feel like that's enough wood. That is exactly enough wood. Okay, we're going to be able to get a couple of quests done. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, so yeah, the, the sort of... Um, the situation has kind of changed since the last time that uh, that I played, which was as part of the demo. Achievement Automation Pioneer unlocked. Very nice. Okay, uh, I will take my rewards. Brilliant. And then I will also see if I can try and pick up another quest from you. No, not quite yet. That's okay. Uh, I'll drop off the logs with you over here. There we go. And that will satisfy your requirements. And that will allow me to unlock a saw bench and sawn timber recipe, which is fantastic. Okay, that is good. Now, the big, I guess, uh, reward or the big quest that we need to move towards is given to us by the mayor. And the mayor is going to allow us to expand the village. Uh, that's 80 logs and 40 sawn, uh, sawn timber. And the 40 sawn timber... Oh, look, we can actually get... Uh, we can get wood from that logger over there. Uh, the sawn timber is quite... Oh, thank you. I'll take that. Can I take these guys back? No, I don't think so. That's unfortunate. Uh, the sawn timber we're going to be making at the workbench in the uh, in this area over here, which is quite nice. Cool. All right. We've got plenty of wood. We're crafting these, uh, these sparky chumps at a really, really decent rate. Let's see what we can do. Uh, first things first, I am going to need to get, I'm going to need to get a barrel. Let's get a barrel. Get a barrel over here. And yeah, we can immediately sort of start throwing things into the barrel if people are walking around the circuit and there's not enough, uh, and there's, and they're not putting the resources into the shrine because this can only store up to 20. Uh, so I think that's a pretty good, I think that's a pretty good compromise. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that tree. I'll have somebody do it for me, which is very, very nice. 
And we'll see if we can try and get this sawn timber uh, set up. A refiner. We need 20 logs. We need 20 logs. Well, I tell you what, I will take the 20 logs and I will put them to good use. This saw bench is gonna go here. Here? Oh. Here. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how this works. Uh, we'll get our path tool. We'll build that over there. We'll throw you onto there. Hopefully we should be able to take logs out of here. Apparently not. That barrel is literally... Okay, that barrel is only a, a single... A single source of uh, of inputs and outputs. That's that's fine. That's fine. How do I remove the barrel? How do I... Re must be build mode. How do I remove the barrel? Put you over there. That's fine. Okay, uh, we can reconfigure this because we don't actually have... There we go. It's the right click there. Uh, we can reconfigure this so that... Excuse me? Okay, whatever. Uh, we can reconfigure this pathway so that it comes up here and around there. Uh, so now everybody's on the same pathway. It is going to be a little bit... A little bit funkier, but it should work. It should work out not too badly. Let's throw these guys into there, and then we'll probably just put a barrel over here. There we go. Throw one spark onto that. And what do you know? We should be up and running. I think that'll work out not too badly at all. I'll take those stumpy sparks out of there too. This is a little bit of a convoluted journey, but we've just got the basics. We don't actually have anything that is, you know, super complicated. We just have the basics. We just have the basics. Uh, right, okay, should we go for a little bit of an explore whilst that process is ongoing? Because we need about, what, 40 cut timber? That is fine. I would like to go and have a little look over here. There's some interesting stuff happening over here that I, that I found in my preliminary... Uh, investigations of the area. Uh, there is, there's a bunch of sort of tumbleweed over here, which can, can all be mined. There are these, what is this, ancient bases. These are useful for a few different things. Uh, we also have these sort of like supply caches that come with a few resources, which I will take and I will yoink. A crafty spark shrine. Okay, that means that there is different types of there is different types of crafting, or there's different types of sparks uh, that we are able to exploit. A ruined tablet, okay. Different type of sparks that we can uh, that we can create. Uh, we've just got the boring ones at the moment. There's also these guys, uh, and they're evil, I believe. Oh. Have at ye. We might end up losing... Ooh. We might end up losing some uh, some of our sparks. But honestly, if that ends up happening. It's not necessarily the uh, the biggest deal in the world. Quite happy to see... Quite happy to see it happen if it means that we get something from it. What's that? Ancient container? It's blocked by something. Okay. And there's another sort of sp spunny burrow in there. Yeah, okay. That's that's fine. An eth etheric distiller shrine. Uh this is kind of this is kind of cool. This will allow us to create aether shards whenever we end up getting that unlocked, which should be fine. There is a chest down there, but I've actually already looted from it, so that is fine. Okay. So there's a couple of different things around which we're going to be able to exploit, I hope. How is this all going? Add that to there. What are we on? 13. Okay, uh, let's take uh, let's take a minute and I'll be back with you when I've got all of my sawn timber and all of my wooden logs. Okay, I've expanded my setup ever so slightly to incorporate a secondary saw bench, which is completely fine uh, as long as this is completely full. Uh, all of our resources are being moved over here uh, at a pretty good pace. Uh, what I'm now realizing is that I could actually just like link that up um, so that we have everybody going around in the same direction. Uh, now, of course, it, it, it is slightly problematic if we have... 
if we have um if we have these if we have these guys running around running around <laughs> running around in the, in the wrong direction uh maybe we should maybe we should ditch that actually anyway there we go look i don't actually care the point is is that we've got all of our resources if i jump into here we'll have all of our sawn timber which is great and in fact we've also got a bunch of those guys as well so i'll take them I'll take them out and we shall dash back and see if we can nab these upgrades that we are required to get done. Okay, first things first, we need to deliver all of the resources here. Uh, 80 logs, brilliant. And 40 timber, it's just that simple. Happy days. I never imagined I, you could get so much so quickly. You'll put it to good use. Don't forget to take breaks. I am happy to do that, and that's going to actually unlock a whole bunch of additional quests for us. Have you talked to the merchant? Yes, I'd love to help. I'd love to help with the next project that you're uh, that you're after. Okay, let's go and let's go and take a little look at the new series of quests. Hunt some field spunnies for you. Aether shards. Um, I mean, I'm happy to give you the aether shards now. Oh, well that's that's a shame. I've already killed I've already killed some field spunnies, but we'll do that. We'll do that. Don't worry, I'll get that done. Uh let's go and see what else everybody wants me to do. This is the divine researcher, the old man. Okay. Other sparks, a spark workbench, a crafty spark, a stumpy spark, and a wood panel. Okay, I'll accept and pin that one because that's probably going to be the more uh, interesting one to get done immediately. Go see what the woodsman wants. Build two loggers. Okay, that's fine. Try expanding a little and build more. That's fine. We can do that. And then what does the quartermaster want us to do? Ooh, sign crate crossing and splitter. This is absolutely something uh, that I would like to get done so that we can have a little bit more sophistication on our pathways. Uh, deliver crafty spark, deliver stumpy spark, uh, and wooden panels. Now, let's, let's see, what can I, what can I actually build? We can build an assembler, that's it. We, that's, that's all that we can actually, that's all that we can actually build at the moment. That is quite literally all that we can build. And any other quests that I want to prioritize right now? The village expansion, we're gonna need to get the wooden panels. I mean... He wants to study, he'll need examples of materials. Yeah, okay, that's that's fine. Uh, we built two saw benches. We can build a second logger. And we'll get a little bit more, a little bit more of that. Um, the saw bench, can we change the recipe at the moment? No, we cannot change the recipe. It has to be, it has to be that. Okay. I think, to be honest, probably, first things first, we want to see if we can try and get a spark workbench. We'll get this down. We'll get this down. Oh, this needs to be this needs to be built on an ancient base. This is the uh, the bit that I was talking about a little bit earlier. Let's move all the way across here. There we go. It's this purpley thing. So let's get that down over there. Uh, what is this going to allow us to make? We can literally just make stumpy sparks here. I mean, okay, that's that's fine. I guess we'll 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 make we'll make a stumpy spark. Um, that's fine. But do I, I mean, do I need more of these guys? I don't know if I necessarily need more of them. Yeah. Whereas crafty sparks, stumpy sparks, I mean, we're gonna need, we're gonna need more than 40. We're gonna, we're, in fact, we, do we have 40? No, we don't have 40. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to get more of those. And then wooden panels as well. Hmm. I wonder what the best way to approach this is in terms of order of operations here. Yeah, I mean, I need to, um, in order to get wooden panels, I need to get that second logger. I need to deliver 80 sawn timber. How much, how much are we moving towards there? It's, it's, it's quite a lot. That's quite a lot, but not quite enough. Um, the logger, we're going to need one, of, one more of these additional carapace things. Oh, goodness gracious me. How on earth are we going to get the second logger? Why don't we go and do this one? Something that I, I actually know that I can do. Kill the field spunnies. There we go. We're going to have to go and kill five of these. This seems like an awful thing to do, but I'll do it. I'll do it easily. I'll do it easily. 
Okay. That was, uh, that was unnecessary slaughter, but delightful nonetheless. Come on. Get all the goodies. Get all the goodies. Okay. Yeah, so um, having a look on the map, we had this shrine. This That's the Crafty Spark Shrine. Is that going to be unlocked now? Presumably, if I have the ability to make a Crafty Spark... Or if I'm being asked to make a crafty spark, it should be it should be unlocked. Let's go and take a little let's go and take a little look. It's just up here, I think. Right over right over here. Yeah. Ah. You're not gonna. You're not gonna allow me to do it. Okay, that's that's fine. Let's go back and get this quest uh, sorted and see what else the merchant wants. Right. So let's speak to the merchant. Get you sorted. Excellent. Happy days. We get ten. Ten of those. Um, can hunt a a beelephant. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'll try and kill a kill that unit. That sounds, that sounds great. Anyway, uh, the other thing that I should have pointed out is that we have this village monument here, and this is where we're able to uh, basically unlock a whole bunch of stuff. Unlocks all waypoints at range zero. That literally costs a stone. I will happily do that. Excellent. We've unlocked our first waypoint. They need to be fueled before they can be used. That's fine. Then we've got machine range. Unlocks all works workstation shrines at range one two workstations will be unlocked that is the etheric distiller shrine which allows us to make the aether shards i believe from the etheric pellets which again was the little shrine that i looked at that's going to cost us one of these one of these boys excellent uh unlocks the quest overview to help keep uh keep track of quests absolutely i'd like to unlock that unlocks the village monument waypoint i will also unlock that if I had a single wooden log, which I unfortunately don't. And I don't think that I'm unfortunately allowed to destroy the... I am actually allowed to destroy the town. Okay, that is amazing. Well, give me this bush then. I'll manually do this one, eh? There we go. Fantastic. Throw that in there. Okay, we'll get that slot unlocked, which is fantastic. Etheric Clump, I don't have that. Unlocks all waypoints at range 1. I'll get that unlocked with my one bit of sawn timber. That's cool. And then unlocks the ability to rush a single group of sparks in a single direction. I'll pay a pellet for that. Anything else? I don't think that I have the ability to do anything else. I think that's I think that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much it. Um yeah, we can we can travel. We can travel around I believe on um, on this one now to the outside world. Hold on, where is it? Yeah, although we need to we need to fuel it first, of course. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's looking that's looking pretty good. Let's go and see. Let's go and see what. Uh, let's go and see what you want here. How's that spark stuff going? Yeah, I know. I've unlocked some shrines. Excellent. Find the Crafty Spark Shrine and examine the Crafty Spark Shrine. I've actually already done that one. I just hadn't unlocked it at the time. And then we'll go back to this guy and check uh, check out what's going on. And yep, I've already found that one too. Excellent. In fact, I've done both of those things and I've already showed them off. Let's get to the Crafty Spark Shrine, shall we? Okay, it's Crafty Spark time. Excellent. You're going to come to life now. Brilliant. And we have the ability to make an additional crafty spark. Cool. Nice. Okay, and you've got a whole bunch of different stats, which is kind of cool. You're quite efficient. You're good at working in buildings, as you would imagine, if you're called a crafty a crafty spark. Okay, we're going to have to turn some, some stumpy sparks. And we also need to get wooden panels. Okay, wooden panels clearly are my absolute priority. Um, what is it that we need for wooden panels? Let's have a little look at our quest overview. That's quite handy, isn't it? The woodsman unlocks the wooden panel, showing quest log. Yeah, we need to get that second logger. But I think I can only build that second logger if we have that carapace. Hmm. And I think the carapace we actually are only able to get from the the bee thing. What's it called? The the bee thing? This thing. The bee elephant. Uh, right, let's see. Where where the heck where the heck are we gonna get this beelephant? Oh, it's down here. 
Let's go and see if we can try and get the Belefint. That's going to give us the second Carapace that we need. And that Carapace... Uh... Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to come through your... Through your hole. Nice. Uh... Belefint? Belefint anywhere? Uh, I tell you what, good thing that we're down here, though, because we can... Check out the Etheric Distiller. It'll literally just turn Etheric Pellets into shards, which is kind of cool. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Where the where the heck is the, the Belefint? Found around birch trees? What the heck is a birch tree? I mean, do we have any? I don't think we actually have any birch trees. Let's, um, let's go... I don't know what this little circle's for then. Uh, let's go Let's go this way, see if we can find some birch trees. I do know what a birch tree looks like, but I don't think we've seen any of them quite yet. At least not as far as I'm aware. That looks like a birch tree. That That is a mantis stag. That is not a beelephant. It looks kind of... Uh, spooky though. I could probably take it, but why would I chance it? Oh, there's some elevation over here. That's kind of cool. Uh, ancient waypoint. I don't think that... Yeah, we need waypoint range 2, and I don't think I have waypoint range 2 quite yet. Do I want to go down this ravenous, cavernous black hole? That looks like a brand new biome that I would love to explore. Now's not the time. These pesky beelephants. Oh, beelephant corpse! I don't think that these... I was waiting to say, I don't think that these sparks are going to be able to... Oh, fantastic. That's the carapace. That's exactly what we needed. Okay. Well, I presume that the real Beelefint is also going to give us the ability to get a carapace. But you know what? I will take the... I'll take the carapace from, uh, from the corpse there. That's pretty good. That is pretty darned good. Right. I am gonna need to get... I'm gonna need to find my way to an additional giant tree. I think the giant tree over here is gonna be my new home. Let's clear... Clear a little bit of... There we go. Clear a little bit of stuff up here. And we'll get this... Get this logger into place right about there, I think. Good... Thank you, I'll take this all. I think that tree might be a little bit big for you, buddy, but good luck. Amazing. Okay. Let's track the track woodcraft. We need 80 sawn timber. Honestly, I think we'll probably have that. If I go back, I think we'll probably have it. We don't really need to do anything with that. We could have some sort of, like, long-range pathway, but I feel like that is hardly, hardly worthwhile. So, I will just take my sawn timber uh, to the bank, probably, if we've got enough. Which I absolutely do. Fantastic. Alright, I've given him his sawn timber. Let's unlock the ability to make wooden panels. It's going to be made in a saw bench, which is fantastic, and I would actually quite like to get my process sorted over here. Do I want to make... How many wooden panels do I want to make? Probably quite a lot. Let's actually let's actually change this setup around a little bit. First things first, I'll get myself a saw bench, uh, which I do not actually have the wood for because, of course, I don't. Yoink all of that out of there. We'll probably be better off just moving this... And we'll probably just get a, another saw bench right about there. Excellent. And we'll throw that into there and we'll make wooden panels. Yeah, perfect. That's exactly, that's exactly what we want. That is exactly, exactly what we want. We've got the two, two people working there, which is brilliant. I'm very, very happy with that. So, uh, because we probably are not going to need any additional... Uh, because we're probably not going to need any additional... Sawn woods. 
we'll get one of you on there and we'll just immediately get to work on the panels. How many panels did I need to get? Let's let's have a little look see. Let's have a little look see at our quest. And actually, tell you what, whilst we're waiting for those panels to to manufacture, let's see if we can try and go and find this Beelephant. We do need to go and examine the etheric distiller shrine thing, which which I have already done, but I just haven't done as part of the, you know, the flipping quest. So let's let's not worry about that altogether too much. Uh, there's got to be some birch in this direction. One has to imagine that there's got to be some birch. If there's birch in one direction, there's going to be birch in the other direction. Look at that. Equip more. Equip more. Throw them out. There we go. Fantastic. Charge. No, don't kill them. I can I can fire more. I can fire more bullets. Oh my goodness gracious me. I'm going through these guys at a very alarming rate. I need some combat. I need some combat uh, stuff. Oh, there we go. Another carapace. This is very, very good. Oh god, they're, they're on a rampage. They're on a rampage. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Amazing. Amazing, amazing stuff. Okay, let's go take a little look. We've done that one, finding the unusual shrine. We can do that in just a sec. And 20 wooden panel, 40 sawn timber for the spark logistics. Crafting the crafties. I need the panels for that. I can go and do I can go and do one of those. I think that sounds like a good idea. Whilst we're waiting for even more of these panels to be built. Okay, take all of that good stuff right out of there. I'll also take all of those guys out of there, throw the maximum number of bits of wood and stuff into, into that. And then let's head over and see if we can try and craft a crafty, a crafty spark. How many of these guys should I try and get? I don't know. But whatever, whatever happens, I'm... Pretty happy that we're going to be increasing our efficiency. It's quite a nice thing to have happen. Ugh. Let me pass to your video game. Okay. One in there. Ten in there. Brilliant. Two guys in there. And let's go. Okay. That's going to give me ten, presumably. In fact, no. It's going to give me. F it's going to give me five. Wow, so it actually costs us two Stumpy Sparks in order to make one single Crafty Spark. So, uh, theoretically, they're twice as valuable. I don't think that that's going to be a sort of easily run thing. 3.8? 3.1. Okay, so they, they're pretty good. They're pretty good in the sense that they... That they give you that extra little bonus, which is quite nice. Is it entirely worthwhile? I mean, it's worthwhile in the sense that I need to do it for an objective. Um, for other reasons, maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, yeah, they might. They might be better. They might give me. I mean, they'll get me resources quicker and faster. But I, I feel like I don't. I don't really need them right now. Also, that etheric clump, I uh, I can stick that into the into the upgrade central thing, the the big monument in the central town. I can do that. No, I can do that. No questions asked. Easily, easily enough. Right. Give me my last crafty spark. I'm gonna take all of these goods with me because I'm not sure that I'll be crafting any more crafty sparks anytime soon. They're not bad, though. They're not bad. I would quite like some combat ones as well. That would be quite nice. Uh, yeah, fine. This way. How's this all looking? Only 10, but that's kind of to be anticipated because we're still making stumpy sparks. I need 40 of these guys. That's quite the... That's quite the number, if I'm, uh, if I'm honest. That is quite the number. Right, let's go... 
12 fuel a minute. That is an incredible, that's an incredible amount of fuel. But we can teleport though, so that's kind of nice. There we go. Yeah, that, is, that it's nice that we can do it. Nice that we can do it, but uh, but maybe not necessarily totally worthwhile. Etheric Chunk unlocks an additional uh, slot in the active Sparks Bar. Excellent. Well, I'll do that. That's going to allow us to get uh, to get more. Unlocks all workstation shrines at range 2. That is the Carry Spark Shrine, the Lomi Spark Shrine, and the Choppy. With a name like Choppy, you really can't complain, can you? Unlocks an additional road to the player's inventory. That's carapace and tree bark. We don't have tree bark, but we do have carapace. That is uh, that is quite nice. Um, I don't really know why I came back into town, to be honest, because there's not really a whole bunch more that I can do. Oh, I can go and claim my uh, Beelephant prize, can't I? There we go. That's going to give me etheric pellets. Okay. Happy days. You don't need anything else? You don't need anything else from me? That is that is completely fine. Okay, uh, where did we get to? We got about halfway through the tier two stuff. We'd already crafted... Uh, we'd already crafted a couple of crafty sparks, but not a huge number. Uh, and we haven't yet completed the objective... Yeah, the objective for you, that still remains outstanding. The quartermaster as well, we've not, uh, we've not done that. That is a little bit, that's a little bit too much, I think. That's a little bit too much to ask for. 160 sawn timber and 80 wooden panels. That's quite a lot. Uh, but again, not completely out of the question for the mayor to, to increase the uh, the village expansion. And of course, once we get going with the uh, with the upgrades, it's, it's all good. And the ability to get further and further waypoints or waypoints further and further away from the town center. That's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, Odd Sparks and Automation Adventure, ladies and gents. Uh, definitely one of the more quirky and one of the more unique, I would say, automation games that is going to be coming out this year. It's going to be coming out on the 24th of April, so in a couple of days from when this video first goes up. Um, I would genuinely give it a look because it is, it's a sleeper, it's a sleeper banger. Uh, I absolutely love, I absolutely love throwing these little guys around. It's, it's fantastic. And, um, yeah, I, I, I think the game seems really, really promising. I'm really interested to see how it progresses through its early access period. But for now, and for me, thank you ever so much for watching, folks. I'll catch you next time. Bye.